and welcome along to another review video with me. This time I want to talk about skincare and I want to talk about a product that everybody has kind of been raving about for ages so I had to try it out. It is Glam Glow Mud. Mm. So then what is this? Well this is actually a face mask. There's two different types. There's this one which is a Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment and there's a normal Glam Glow Mud. I decided to go for the Super Mud Treatment because it seemed to have more kind of antibacterial and spot treatment kind of ingredients in there. So um, yeah, I decided to do that just because my skin was kind of quite crazy and uh, breakouty. Um, as regards ingredients in here, the main ingredients that I can see in here is silic acid, you've also got K17 clay, licorice root, peppermint plant, eucalyptus leaf, aloe vera, chamomile, marigold, cucumber, ivy, herbs. So these ingredients in here basically what I can see are there to help with oil um, to get rid of that to absorb the oil to really like lift out and uh, vacuum the skin there's ingredients in there for that sort of the clay and things like that and you've got ingredients like the aloe vera chamomile to kind of really soothe and calm the skin so it's quite a nice mix um, and that's something that's quite good about it because normally I've noticed in a lot of masks that are there to fight kind of oil um, you know breakouts and things like that they tend to be really super dry in and there's nothing to kind of compensate for that to kind of soothe and calm the skin on the other side so this has got a very interesting mix of ingredients to say the least so then let me show you the packaging for this because I was super impressed but also surprised how much packaging one little tub of product actually needs um, you get the box which looks something like this and then when you open the box, which is all very beautiful, it says, hello sexy. And then you open it again and then you find your mask, which is here, uh, in the middle of that. Also, you get a little pamphlet type thing, which is really quite good. I enjoyed reading this. It was quite interesting. And I like the way it's laid out as well. It's very colourful and bright. Um, the good thing about this is it actually shows you what ingredients you're putting on your skin and explains a little bit more about each ingredient as well so you can really understand what you're using this for and what it's going to do to your skin and if it's suitable for your skin as well at the same time. I like that a lot. So let's take a look at the mask itself then. The little pot comes like this. <laughs> as you can see I've used it so it looks a little bit messy. Um, when you open it you just open it like this, you get like a little top and the mud, the mask itself looks like that, like a grey colour. The first thing that hits you, I think the first smell that hits you is the licorice root, you can really smell that and also the peppermint which is really nice and refreshing and lovely so I'm not complaining about the smell, I think it's really nice. The texture of this is actually very very light, it's quite a thin mask and because it's so expensive, being quite honest with you, um, I wanted to use only a little bit at a time and make it last. So my tip to you will be to find an old foundation brush like this and just use it to brush onto the skin. Uh, that way you're not kind of delving in fingers and stuff into it and like contaminating the product and you're also going to get a really nice sort of thin layer on the skin. Um, let me show you actually what the mask looked like when I got it on here. As you can see from the picture, right, it really kind of vacuums the pores. Um, that had been on for about five, ten minutes when I saw that picture, and already you can see little kind of circles where it's kind of really taking out the oil from the pore. Um, I've never seen a mask do that, so that in itself was quite interesting to kind of watch. You can get this mask from like your local beauty store, so like Sephora's, uh, they do stock it and you can get it from uh, beauty spas, probably find it on the internet as well, on well-known beauty sort of uh, websites. I got mine from actually a local beauty salon called Tips and Toes here in Dubai. Um, what do I think to this mask? Well, I got the super mud, obviously, because my skin was absolutely crazy. I haven't tried the normal mud yet. As regards the super mud, it is absolutely fantastic. I'm not even just saying that. 
like my skin has really cleared up I had such bad breakouts all around here and you've probably seen in previous videos actually that I had quite a few blemishes my skin's really calmed down I've been using this for the last two weeks once a week and I've used it also just as I've come out of the shower so my pores are really nice and open um, so I found that that's been really helpful doing that but yeah it's really calmed down my skin I can't get over even how much it's kind of helped control my oil um, my T-zone because I've got combination skin can be a little bit oily this seems to have really started to calm that down and the way that it kind of vacuums out those pores and vacuums the skin is just crazy the first time you use it I guarantee you you'll be sat there looking in the mirror going wow do I have pores like that on my nose Ugh. Honestly, it's a bit crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, if your skin's a little bit kind of breakouty or you just want a really deep cleanse and you're not wanting to really go and spend a fortune um, on a spa treatment, this is a good option. It has got a quite pricey price tag, as I said before, 320 dirhams here in Dubai. Um, so that is quite a hefty price tag for a small little pot. However, if you use a little and uh, you're only using it once a week it is going to last you quite a while all in all though it is a fabulous little product i'm really super impressed with this i give it a massive massive thumbs up and um, if you've tried it please leave me a little note below let me know what you thought to it did you like it maybe you didn't like it let me know all below okay and if you've enjoyed this video make sure you click subscribe bye it never felt so strong and